welcome back this will be the video solution for problem c proc 3 from atcoder dp contest so let's go over the problem statement there are n stones numbered 1 2 up to n and for each of the stone the height of the stone is given as h of i and it is an increasing sequence uh, and there is a frog who is initially on stone 1 he will repeat the following action some number of times to reach the stone n uh, essentially the frog can perform the jump from stone i to stone j uh, where j is greater than i which is essentially from i plus 1 up to n as given in the statement and the cost of that jump is the difference uh, square of the difference between the heights of those stones plus a c constant which is given in the problem statement which is up to 10 raised to 12 and we need to find the minimum possible total cost incurred before the frog reaches stone n so the frog is essentially going to perform some number of jumps and uh, after it reaches n we need to find what will be the minimum possible total cost incurred and as you can see the constants are up to 10 to 5 and the heights are increasing increasing and these are the sample state sample test cases uh, since the constraints are fairly large uh, we will directly jump on to the best approach since this is a tougher problem and the main idea to uh, make this video was to create an understanding of the technique used in dynamic programming optimization so as you can see this problem can be solved in of n square time so we will try to find an approach which will give us a better solution than that so let's go over some of the observations uh, as the problem describes the jumps that uh, the frog can perform uh, from index i to j will be uh, denoted by these lines from left to right from any index i it will jump to any index j which is greater than i and the straightforward dynamic programming uh, recurrence relation that we can come up with this is going to look like so let's denote dp of i to be the minimum cost to arrive at index i then we can arrive at index i from an index j which should be less than i uh, notice we use a different convention here because we were going from current index to the next index but since we are writing the recurrence relation we are going to essentially say that to arrive at index i we need to take a jump from any index j previously and uh, the best answer up until index j will be added to the cost of that jump which is as denoted in the question the difference of the heights plus the constant c which is given in the question so after simplifying this we expand the square of two terms we arrive at this and uh, notice that this function is dependent on j the variable is j i is constant for some fixed i so we need to calculate dp of i for, for all i from left to right which is 1 to n so for fixed i the right in the right hand side um, j is variable and i is a constant so we can uh, separate out the terms containing only i which is h i square taken from this and the constant c then we are going to arrive at this equation so essentially uh, the may only part that remains is this one which is highlighted in red so let's now only go over the optimization how to find this minimum value quickly so let's see how this can be optimized so let's say we are calculating the function or this one or some fixed index i and we want to update dp of i with h i square plus c plus that minimum value and we are going to essentially see how we can find this 
so the equation can be rearranged as follows so i have just separated out the terms and uh, what it, what this essentially does is it converts the equation into a equation of a line so if you see j is variable and the terms containing j uh, only j are to the right hand side which will be a constant for a fixed j and uh, this term is the term which will be fixed for j only thing variable will be h of i so this essentially uh, provides us a clue to represent this equation as a line where the line uh, rep representation will be as uh, y equals to mx plus c the slope will be minus 2 hj and the constant which is the y intercept will be this term as uh, as we saw in this part so this is how we are going to interpret this term as lines and essentially what we need to do is for fix for some fixed i we need to, to we need to go over all the lines uh, which are created for the indices j less than i and for all those lines we are going to input the value x as h of i essentially m for all the lines the slope and the y intercept are known only uh, variable is h of i so we are going to substitute uh, x equals to h of i in all those lines and find out what is wo which line gives us the minimum value and essentially update the answer from those here so let me also give you an example how this computation is going to look like so suppose we want to calculate the value of for dp4 and since we are going from left to right uh, we assume that the values for dp1 2 3 are already computed hence this uh, values will already be computed so for line 1 uh, which will be the line for index 1 so if you substitute um, at j equals to 1 in this case we are going to arrive at this part line 1 line 2 and line 3 correspondingly uh, by mistake this has to be a 3 so just assume it and after we have found out all the lines since i is 4 here we are going to find out three lines for indices 1 2 and 3 and we are going to substitute x equals to h of 4 since we are computing the value at index 4 the variable x will be substituted as h of 4 in these lines and we are going to compute the y which is the value of the function at a given x coordinate and all three lines will return some value we need to take the minimum of them so this is the essential idea to convert this equation in terms of lines and find out the minimum value which can be occurred at some x coordinate so let's also see why this is important so uh, if you if we interpret all the indices j as a function of line uh, we interpret them as y equals to mx plus c and evaluate them at point h x equals to h of i and uh, essentially the main idea is to use convex hull trick to perform this optimization so once we are computing the recurrence relation from left to right essentially we are going to add a line and query the minimum value for the set of lines that we have already accumulated for all the indices or for all the previous indices so this uh, is the essential idea for convex hull trick so this uh, observation is helpful to convert this problem into an optimization problem which can be solved using convex hull trick let me give you a brief idea about convex hull trick since this uh, video is not about specifically about the deep explanation of convex hull trick so i will just briefly address what it is and what all operations are uh, performed in this so basically it is a geometry based approach so the main problem we are going to solve here is so as we saw the lines are represented as slope times x plus the y coordinate y went to y intercept which is y equals to mx plus c and we need to find the minimum or maximum in our problem it was minimum 
and it can be performed for minimum and maximum as well and essentially we are knowing all the coordinates mj and cj and for some x we need to find what is the minimum or maximum among all those functions so this is the main idea so what uh, essentially the technique uses it maintains the lines and uh, prepares a convex hull which is essentially the concave or convex representation of uh, the intersection of lines so if you see here this red part will be the, the minima will lie on red part for all the x coordinates which are less than 2 it will lie on the blue line as i am showing here uh, in this region for x coordinate for this it will lie in this region and similarly and so on some lines are uh, irrelevant so this is the main idea to uh, maintain a convex hull and find out what line is uh, responsible for the minima in a particular region so as you can see this purple line is not responsible for any minima sorry maxima because these are the highest points achievable in the graph so this problem is about maximum so if uh, for our problem the convex hull would be something like this uh, on the downside yeah so this is the main idea and there are a lot of different problems as well as visualization provided on this blog i will provide the link to this in the description you can go through this so the main idea is that in this container or structure we can add a line in logarithmic type which is quickly uh, quick enough for our optimization uh, in dynamic programming solution and we can also query the minima or maxima in logarithmic time over the set of lines which are already added so this is a dynamic thing you can add lines one by one you cannot delete it you can add one by one and query at any point uh, what is what is the minima or maxima of a function so this is the main idea let me also go with the implementation which is from ashish gupta's repository so this is the convex hull dynamic main struct which is going to help us to add and query lines uh, which is the entire presentation of this graph so this is the line structure which is essentially performing all the necessary operations required we have uh, some of the variables which is convex hull uh, represented in the set and uh, this variable is to um, check whether not check but initialize the structure to say that this is used for maximum or minimum which is convex or concave depending on our use case these are all the um, utility functions uh, this is the constructor here we are going to pass that we want the convex hull to be uh, for minima or maxima depending on that we will pass to or false here this is the main function we, which we are going to use adding a line which is y equals to mx plus c y or y equals to ax plus c as uh, used in this case in logarithmic time this function will do that you can go over this in detail and get best so these are the two functions that we are going to use add line and query or get best value and this is the x coordinate that we saw we are going to substitute the x as the parameter and this is going to essentially give us the maximum or minimum value so these are the two functions that we are going to use i will also provide the uh, link to this in description you can go over this in detail since this is not a, a specific video about the technique yeah, essentially that's the main idea so let me also go over it once again we are going to compute the values of dp i from left to right that is from i equals to 1 to n and essentially we are going to uh, 
uh, compute this recurrence uh, from and this part is constant we can uh, easily add this uh, to dp of i then we can query the uh, convex hull container to find the minimum value of this function and to find the minimum value of this function we are going to ask that what is the minimum value for a given x and that x for some index i will be uh, the height of that particular block which is h of i and after that is done we need to add that line in the container so that it can be queried for later indices so to do that we are going to add a line and that line will have the form where the slope and y intercept will be minus 2 h of j and d of j plus h of j so whole square so this is the main idea we can uh, compute this recurrence easily so let's go over the final solution i have used the same structure as we saw in the code earlier it is used as it is let's go over the main solution uh, we are inputting and see the height of the uh, blocks then the array height array is taken after that we are going to initialize the lines container to uh, say that this is a optimization for minima hence we are assigning it as false then from left to right essentially if the index i is zero then we are, uh, the frog is already present on that index so i have used zero best indexing doesn't matter uh, essentially the index index does not uh, affect the solution in any form uh, since the frog is at the starting index so dp of i for that position will be zero and uh, for everything else it will be the constants that we saw earlier also show it once again the constants c plus h of i whole square plus the best value that we can get for all the lines were all earlier added which is essentially this part and this will be given by the container or convex hull trick that we checked earlier and after that we are going to add a new line which represents the index i but after we move to the next index i plus one this will be used to optimize the answer for the letter indices and as we saw earlier the slope will be minus two times h of i the slope for this line that we process now is minus two h of i uh, it is j here because it is for all the previous lines and all the previous lines are essentially being represented by index i in our implementation and the uh, y coordinate will be dp of i plus h of i whole square essentially this term and uh, once this is uh, computed the answer is essentially dp of n minus 1 or dp the last value that it was computed using uh, this recurrence so yeah uh, that was it about this uh, if you have any doubt do let me know i will also provide all the links that we went through in this solution and yeah i will start making videos on the harder problems on this and thank you